Hello again, this is Thomas Allen Bird coming to you again from beautiful Waikiki. You can see in the background that the sunset has just about completely painted over our beautiful city now with just absolutely the most beautiful sunset. Let me show it to you before I continue a minute. I know many of you like Hawaii as much as I do. That's why I moved here. Look at that beautiful sunset. This is the third in a series of responses uh, to Marianne Williamson's call for those of us children of the 60s to come back to life and to do what we came to do, which is to save this civilization by saving, first of all, our children, which I talked about in my first video. This is a book about saving our children for themselves allowing them to be who they came to be, which are godlings, god beings. They know that. I mean, remember, a child of two or three is so in heaven and so in touch with the magical, magical realms. Marianne has a wonderful story in her book, this wonderful book, which I highly recommend, The Age of Miracles in which she goes into the bathroom of a really good girlfriend of hers as a little girl and there are cherubs painted on the bathroom ceiling and it takes her into a kind of uh, Sistine Chapel ecstasy where she realizes that she is witnessing imagery which is representative of uh, the multi-dimensional domains, the spiritual domains, the sacred domains uh, out of which we all arise. Anyway, I was talking about my film project with Michael Brewer. He is the producer and the director. We came up with the idea because we realized that next to children, I would venture to say, the gay and lesbian people are probably the most equally misunderstood and mis. Uh, valued, undervalued, because we have male and female God energy in us. Because we have the divine feminine and the divine masculine in us, our hearts and our minds are much more integrated with our bodies and our entire chakra system is better integrated into a blissful, rapturous, sensual, sexual, and spiritual life experience. That's why we are so good at writing Broadway plays and writing music and decorating and, and uh, doing all kinds of things, writing, uh, writing great symphonies like Leonard Bernstein, uh, building great buildings like the Sistine chapel i mean michelangelo pretty much designed uh the vatican the entire vatican and he was about as quote gay as they come anyway in our series we go around the world we have been to rome we've been to greece and we recently uh finished a film about the gods and the spirituality of hawaii which i would highly recommend called rainbow crossing you can find information about our film series on uh, www.brewberg.com and also uh, www.rainbowcrossing.com and i would highly recommend getting the uh getting the dvds for you because until we understand the contribution of gay people to our culture, we will not understand an important aspect of God's plan which has not been addressed. And I would like to talk a little bit about that because, and as Marianne says in her plea for um, the Department of Peace, we live in a war and we live in a world that is on the verge of world war. We all know that. There are forces on this planet, whether you call them the 13 brother, the 13 families, or whether you call it the Illuminati, or whether you just call it 
institutions or whether you just call it thought systems, there are these, uh, these materialistic, militaristic, very rich and very powerful people, very patriarchal in nature, who believe that uh, the old paradigm of power over, power over meaning that the rich have a right to control everyone else, the rich have a right to accrue the power and to then create like a pyramid in which the worker bees are at the very bottom. I saw this pyramid in the school system. I saw how the, the school system was set up just in the grading system alone, A, B, C, D, and F. It's so obvious when you're in the school system for 35 years. It's so obvious to see this pyramid being formed, this social stratus being formed, where the C kids come out feeling like C people and D and F people. This has a lifelong effect on what they believe they can do with their lives and who they believe they are. In my classroom, in Uncle Tom's classroom, I actually allowed my students to discover who they were. And they did this with free discourse, free debate. They were allowed to create their own curricular projects each semester. We called the projects their projects of bliss. We pretended to read a lot of the texts, but we mostly analyzed them for the lies that they represented. For example, in the social studies series, even though I have to admit California is better than most, uh, there is such uh, a subliminal message that America has a right to control the world based on the idea of the American dream. What I like about Marianne Williamson's talking about the Founding Fathers, that they were metaphysical, is that they realized that America was in fact a divine idea being downloaded into them for us of a, of a place, a geographical place, a planet where individual God beings were, would be free to develop and express their God potential. I guess that's, that's about as easy as you can say it. Marianne, I really want to thank you for promoting with your tapes. I still listen to your tapes from the 1980s and some from the early 90s uh, about The Course in Miracles because to me, The Course in Miracles is a, a absolute quantum leap for our civilization. I know that it will shock many people who maybe have never heard of The Course in Miracles, but it was downloaded from Jesus Christ himself through a woman named Helen Schuckman uh, and her partner. She heard it, she wrote it, it took many, 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 many years for the message to be completely transcribed but it is Jesus's updated version of what it means to be a Christ being, what he calls a son of God. Uh, and that's what it's all about. When you teach children, as I did in this book, that they are children of the force, children of the of the God energy that thought up the entire universe, their entire lives take off. And when you remind gay people that they are part of the cosmic plan, not an aberration, not a mistake, but an actual important part of the entire cosmic plan, everything becomes possible and people begin to own who they really, 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 really are. Miracles 
become the order of the day.